Here's to another redo project. This time, I will attempt to do some save stateless. Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom by Ghetto Youth. Ugh. Thank you? Oh, thanks, Luigi. Bowser kidnapped your brother. Please help Mario. Oh. Well, this hack is kind of suggestive. Although not suggestive enough for me to avoid it. Except for one gimmick. Hola, I'm not at home. I'm searching for some good ganja. If you find some, let me know. Signed, Yoshi. <clears throat> Jungle Island 1. Where all this hack is... He actually put a lot of thought into it, making it save stateless. A lot of effort went into this. Ironic, since it seems to be derived from Luigi's adventure. I wonder if the derivative is also the reason this hack is locked to Lunar Magic. Which would probably be the same case for Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom 2. Luigi's Adventure... I'm talking about the Overseas Edition, by the way. This, this appears to be derived from the Overseas Edition. That one is locked to Lunar Magic. So might the original Japanese version, but I'm not sure about that since I haven't downloaded that. Just the Overseas Edition. Anyway, this hack is definitely, definitely quite good. Even though the creator may have a sick sense of humor at some times, in addition to a sick sense of art. Oh, hi. Auto scroll. Enjoy these coins while you can, because at some point they're probably going to come to an end. And unfortunately, I don't think this hack has any feathers in it. It's just the mushroom and the fire flower. I think, though, that if you do get hit when you have a fire flower, you just become Super Mario. <laughs> Way to miss that goal point. Into Jungle Island 2. We got Blue Koopas too. Also, thankfully, since you know that Fire Flowers and Feathers. or no, wait, Fire Flowers are really the only second power ups with no feathers, you can pretty much go anywhere for a power up if you want. Actually, Kind of well thought out, in my opinion. This was planned for qualities, it seems. However, I did not plan to do that. Hope we get that coin. fish as possible without overdoing it. <clears throat> well, blue Koopas are still the same, which is odd, because... Hmm. Actually, no, it's not odd, because these Koopas do not come out of their shells. Wouldn't have helped me there, though. Or even here. What's that horizontal pipe for? Because there's no invisible coin block. And I don't know what there would be.
Yada. Yada. Hmm. You can invent a new interjection every minute, I suppose. Here, there's a secret exit, but I forget where it is. That should give me a hint. I hope. Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. Thought you could bounce the coins upward, but you can't. anymore. That's yet another goal. <clears throat> Ghost cave. I want the secret exit to this first. I forgot that I probably shouldn't do this hack entirely save stateless, because apparently the start select is broken. If you press select, the game will freeze. Anyway, the secret to this is an invisible coin block, which will be incredibly common in this game. Invisible coin blocks will be the secret to many of the solutions. Still something here. Some interesting SMB3 style graphics. Here's a key. And there's an odd keyhole sound. <clears throat> Jungle secret. All right. Hmm. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I, I try to collect the power up, but sometimes I'm not successful. <sighs> and yet, apparently the coins... They're actually a different shade of yellow from the... From the ones that are just... Standing there. The ones... The ones that are just standing there are different from the ones that appear when you kill an enemy. There's a little bit more red to the ones when you kill an enemy. Now... I'm not sure what the gimmick is with the Yoshi coins in this hack, but... Okay, I'm just plain not sure. There's something to it. There's also gotta be something to this. Okay. Invisible note block saves the day. Good. Now what? Oh, more of this. Sure. And, whoa, eh. Uh, this can be tricky. Huh. One of the few times where... I think it's one of the few where gold tape is actually going to appear. And this leads over to that pipe. What do you know? One world, one video, I guess? That's the perfect music for entering a ghost area. 
If I can even call this a house right now. Oh, of course. He never said that it was a ghost house. He said it was a ghost cave. And I guess we're going into the cave right now. Like that. Not bad. At least you can kill the big boos and such enemies by sliding. You may need to take advantage of that sometimes. Yet another totally worth it power up. Huh. <sighs> another. And another. Just trying to do this. Up we go. time, we'll go into this warp pipe, and into Death Desert 1.